we are going to discuss purchasing the procurement module which is called as distribution module first of all we should know why this is called as distribution module you can see somebody says say i'm working on sales and distribution modules especially sap sap guys they use it to say i'm working on my modules are sd what is sd similarly if you go finance sales and distribution means sales means order management distribution means purchasing why we call it as purchasing the name itself is purchasing that means whatever you whatever, whatever the company requires <coughs> they buy the item and keep the stock in the store room if tata motor is the company that company has to buy all the raw materials sometimes sub assemblies sometimes components sometimes spare parts every item to be purchased and they keep the stock in the store room and whenever the production department what would the item they would require in the process of manufacturing production department would request to the main store by raising a move order move order is nothing but request to the store store room will issue the material storekeeper will issue the material to the production the production what are the item they want they take and they assemble this is what discrete manufacturing right so they assemble finally they get a finished good and that finished good has to be again stored in inventory this company tata motor is the car manufacturer car is the finished good now you tell me tata motor is not using its own engine it's using fiat engine we have different engines right that means what does it mean they are buying the engines engine is sub assembly it's not a raw material bearing is a raw material bolt nut and spare parts like steering assembly clutch plates brakes all these are spare parts and spark plug so all these are all these are spare parts they have to buy all these spare parts from the company company means manufacturer they will buy all the raw tires even tires they they buy all the jk tires or mrf tires or michelin so all these raw materials to be purchased those items can be sometimes raw materials sometimes components sometimes sub assemblies sometimes spare parts or sometimes consumables what is consumable consumable means it's a kind of you know you want grease for lubrication purpose so cotton waste in the manufacturing industry production department they'll be they'll be having different kind of employees production engineer maintenance engineer fitter electrician all these guys they would require at certain point of time as a part of maintenance any breakdown comes and they have to rectify the breakdowns so whenever they are doing they want certain lubrication and all those things so they will apply all these things these are not you cannot say to manufacture one car i would require 1 kg of grease or lubrication you cannot say that they will take in bulk when our production department in advance they will take one drum okay some gallons of oil oil or whatever it may be they would take and they will keep in the production department as and when required it will be consumed it doesn't mean that to manufacture one car i would require a grease of so many grams like i can i can say 500 grams per one car i cannot say that so in bulk they have to take and they have to keep but at last you know that has to be charged to the job what is the job production department will work on 
car manufacturing if they have some order what is the order to manufacture one item that is nothing but job what is the order to purchase the item purchase order what is the order to sell the item to the customer sales order similarly there should be an order for starting the manufacturing so if there is an order so based on the order the sales department will request the production team boss there is a customer and who is having a demand of 10 cars to be manufactured can you make 10 items against this customers that means there is an order so then state they start manufacturing to manufacture they will they would require one job that means production engineer they create jobs boss you have to start the job which will manufacture 10 cars or keeping some customers in mind let us say such customers we have around 20 customers who would require 10 10 cars each 20 customers 10 cars 20 multiplied by 10 200 cars or same kind of Tata, Tata Indica is required let us say we have the customers like Tata Motor is having customers like Vipro or Infosys which would require cabs because for internal uh, employees transfer or, or, or whatever it may be it's a kind of shuttle service they want to give for their employees for that reason they want to buy 20 Tata Indica cars that means there is an order from Infosys or Vipro to Tata Motor saying that this they would require these many cars such kind of customers all all together consolidated quantity how much quantity how much how many Tata Indica cars are required by the clients that figure will be figured out then sales people will intimate to the production department saying that there is a demand of these many items so can you make these many items if they want to make if this intimation comes to production department production engineer what he does he creates a job which will indicate 200 cars of Tata Indica then they release the job then only the workers will start manufacturing the item so in this process in a company like Tata Motor which is using ERP like Oracle application or SAP or Cbell, JD Edwards, PeopleSoft or whatever it may be they should have purchasing department in which those department people should have access for purchasing module in which some of the some of them might be buyers who is buyer buyer is the one who buys the item for it for their company Tata Motor wants to buy item means Tata Motor will maintain a purchase department in the purchase department some buyer will be there and that buyer will buy the item from the suppliers when I talk about purchasing we talk about only supplier when I talk about customer I talk about sales right I am selling the item to whom Tata Motor will sell the item to customer Tata Motor will buy the item from supplier so don't bring customer in purchasing supplier in sales it is a blunder while I am introduced like I have seen many candidates when I use it to do the interviews they use it to say while having auto management they use it to say about they use it to talk about supplier why are you bringing supplier in order management module are you doing any are you having any business with supplier in sales no we are dealing with the customer we have the item we have to sell the item supplier means we are buying that's it don't bring supplier in sales customer in purchasing if you do that it's a blunder that is the first thumb rule you have to and one more thing I told you while starting the classes this system is you are a consultant keep in mind always you are your client is Tata Motor is going for implementation of Oracle application means you are a consultant working in TCS and TCS is the software company which supplies the software consultants these consultants will go to the Tata Motor company which has bought the product Oracle application and this application meant for Tata Motors and you are the consultant you are studying the business process you are understanding the business process of the client 
and this standard solution this oracle application is a pre-built product which has been developed for all the manufacturing companies or trading companies whatever it may be and to what extent we can use this application you can to what extent you can use your knowledge in oracle application for mapping the standard solution of oracle applications to to the requirement of tata motors that's what the primary roles primary role you have to play being a consultant it doesn't mean that are we going to rise the purchase order no are we going to create a discrete job no are you going to create a sales order no it's not our duty we are consultants but we have to train in the process of sales in the process of sales procurement being a supply chain management guy to the end users who is the end user the person who is working as a buyer in Tata motor or a salesman or a production engineer or a worker whoever uses the oracle application in tata motors being an employee of tata motor so you are using the system means you are the first person to use the system if i am using purchasing you are the buyer if i am using sales uh, sorry if i am using order management you are the sales person keep in mind but every business process a consultant should know why because as you are training them they should learn from you that means first of all you should be perfect in all the transactions of user, user community what the what a buyer does what a salesman does what a production engineer does you should know first of all because you are reaching to them to understand their business and they are going to show you the old system in explaining the requirement and this is how i want the system we are going for new system because we are missing something in the present system what they are missing you should know and thus missing item should be there in the new application so can you get that requirement for them that's that's where a consultant plays the main role now in the process of purchasing what you do if you are a consultant let us forget about consultant you are a end user first of all that means you are an employee of tata motors so we have we have gone live now being a buyer because we are going to purchase we are going to uh, discuss the purchasing module so i am going to be a buyer right now being a buyer what do i require it's very simple tata motor wants to buy some items which are raw materials, consumables, spare parts or sub assemblies for raw materials should be bought from the best supplier with a best price. Keep in mind, these are general things, you know. We are going to discuss purchasing, but everything knows to you. Everything, everything is known to you, okay. Why? Because I will tell you, don't you know how to purchase a laptop to laptop for your personal purpose? I already explained the process of buying to buy a laptop what you would require if you want to buy a laptop for your purpose simply first my my duty is what kind of laptop do you require that means configuration what is the configuration of the laptop that you would require you keep on you keep it on paper that paper becomes your requirement your requirement is nothing but requisition that's what we have here the person who requires some item they have to keep on paper saying that this is the configuration of the end this is the so and so item I would require okay so there is a requisition and that requisition is your requirement does it mean that you are going to buy for company it is different for personal of course you will take care of your buying and everything so once your requisition is ready you will take that requisition and go to the market right wherever we get the laptops at at lower price we go there okay we will go to ctc center if you are from hyderabad in sikandrabad then 
and we will explore how many shops are there many now we go to first shop saying that because there is a requirement for my personal purpose this is the configuration i would require can you let me know the price of the item that means you are requesting for price that means you are requesting for quotation quotation is the document from the supplier which explains the price of the item or terms and condition warranty or whatever it may be service are they giving warranty for one year or two years all this information so your request basically you have the requisition and that requisition has been shown to the vendor or a supplier and that shopkeeper a supplier to you because you are buying you are the buyer and if that shopkeeper is the supplier you have shown the requirement then based on the requisition you are requesting for quotation supplier gives the quotation supplier gives the quotation means you came to know the best price of the supplier over are you going to buy immediately no we will go to next shop right we will go to next shop that means next supplier then again we are showing the same requisition to them and we are requesting for a quotation in turn we are getting another quotation from another supplier now we got first quotation second quotation again is the same request for quotation do you agree your requisition is same you raise a request for quotation your requisition is same and you raised a request for quotation which is indicating supplier one and you are raising another another request for quotation okay you have the request for quotation for the supplier two and similarly we have the same request for quotation for the supplier three because next shop second supplier also gave the information by giving a quotation will you buy no i want to explore more suppliers so i will go to third supplier and fourth supplier and fifth supplier that means you might have got fifth five quotations right you might have got the five quotations when you got five quotations now it is your, your duty to choose the best supplier when you want to choose the best supplier what you are going to do i have the same requisition forget about requisition i have the same rfq distributed across different supplier forget about rfq but we got five quotations which are representing five terms and conditions five services five wa warranty conditions all these things price might be different from each supplier so you compare all those quotations that's what we have first you are going to create rfq from the requisition then we are going for quotations because we are going to get the quotations from the suppliers so why are we creating quotations which are which are coming from suppliers it is our duty to track the quotation in the system supplier maintains the is quotations in his system it doesn't mean that you are going to get the access for supplier system no your system is oracle application so in oracle application i know requisition has been created here and rfq arrived here and i sent to different suppliers then in turn i got the quotations through courier or through email then the same quotation should be created in the system again is the same rfq when i got different quotations five quotations those quotations to be compared when i want to compare that is what quote analysis you are going to analyze the, all the quotations from the, all the suppliers when you do the quote analysis you are going to decide the best supplier quote analysis would bring the best supplier from whom you can buy the item right that means you have decided the supplier quote analysis will decide the best supplier then raise the purchase order why because supplier needs purchase order otherwise he will not supply the item because supply, purchase order is the legal document between you and supplier and which has been approved internally from your management means tata motor should raise purchase order 
and you are a buyer so your manager should approve that in case the purchase are reserving a worth of one hundred thousand dollars then definitely that has to be approved by ceo or general manager or cfo that means for approval there is a limit of your purchase manager can approve up to five thousand dollars your general manager can approve up to fifty thousand dollars your ceo can approve up to unlimited value right that means there are certain limits of approvals for each person and every person is an employee of the company Tata Motor is going to have all these employees and users even CEO is an end user is going to use the application now when you raise the purchase order okay let me see when you raise the purchase order purchase order is the document where you have supplier information where you have supplier information supplier ship to what is ship to you are asking the item to the supplier where do you require this item to be shipped to which location Tata Motor is having different branches different locations ship to which location do you want the item bill to means bill to means if you are buying in bulk company always does based on credit basis right they will not pay immediately if you are buying personal laptop then you will pay immediately then supplier gives the item if Bipro orders for 10 cars so then they will give some advance but they will not pay full amount but Tata Motor ships the, all the items and after that they give they give a term terms they will have a terms and conditions saying that you have to pay within a month or within a six months that is where we call it as payment terms and conditions okay now these are terms and conditions this is this button indicates that now who is the buyer the person who is having the access for purchase order is called as buyer to want if you want to use the distribution module purchase module first of all you should have buyer role what is buyer everybody cannot be a buyer every can everybody can be a requester if you want certain item you can request but the request that requisition should should be saved as should be saved as purchase order means a buyer can take a decision whether that requisition is eligible for raising a purchase order or not a buyer should take a decision if buyer takes the decision then buyer comes under some management so that management will take a decision whether this purchase order has to be approved or not and that management is having different levels of approvals because one person is having 5000 limit another person is having 10000 limit another person is having 50000 limit another person is having unlimited access so purchase order is a document should go to approval levels different approval levels whoever is having the eligibility of approving that document which is worth of certain value once it is been it has been approved it is your duty to send the purchase order copy print the purchase order and send it to supplier so this process of purchasing is very complicated one let us see in the purchasing if you understand this then it's very easy because I already told you everybody knows the purchase everybody knows the purchasing process it's very simple correlate to the application this application is meant for your business your purpose there is a requirement that requirement can be met by this particular application this is what ERP that is the reason without ERP there is no company at all that is the reason huge demand for ERP in the whole world every technology working based on ERP only if you are having the ERP then only any technology will work if you are not having ERP I do not require Java I do not require C++ I do not require testing I do not require middleware I do not require database it's mandatory so that is the reason it is evergreen and every person who works as a consultant functional consultant especially they will have lifelong they will have work to do 
and it is fixed. Your purchasing process will never change. Your sales process will never change. Your manufacturing process will never change. But whereas technology changes, that is the reason. Being a technical is that. That is the disadvantage. Being a functional, I mean, being a technical when compared to functional. Functional technology never changes. Your functionality never changes. Whereas technology, if you are a consultant and you are working on D2K, D2K forms can be replaced with HTML forms. You should know web application now. You should know SOA, ADF instead of SQ, instead of uh, DTK forms and reports. Reports, BI technology has come. You should be a OBI consultant or the business intelligence consultant. So that keeps on changing. Whenever there is a platform, platform change, yeah, because Java is the product of again now Oracle because Oracle has captured the best in the market. Why? Because the best applications in the world has been captured by Oracle. How? The best application meant for customer relation management is Siebel. The best application for doing the HR payroll and all those things is PeopleSoft. The best application for manufacturing is BAN. And what else? The best application for supply chain management is JD AdWords, not even SAP and Oracle. Oracle itself is best for databases and finance. So. Oracle has bought all those products and that is going to that, that has included in the that has been included in the Oracle applications even Siebel no more with Siebel No more like for CRM no more with uh, it's it's not uh, with Siebel now because Siebel is Oracle now now CRM If you want CRM the best application is Oracle if you want people uh, sorry HRMS then it is the people soft is the part of Oracle now Oracle has included that functionality in Oracle application. So Oracle became the best in HRMS. That is how it has become the best in the market. And every product has been captured like Java is the best technology available in the market that has been captured by Oracle from Sun Micro. So Sun Micro, yep. You name it BA. Intelligence, business intelligence, everything. Now they are targeting salesforce.com. Salesforce.com, we are already, we got confirmation. Certain, uh, uh, certain confirmation is there because it's a salesforce is salesforce.com is going to be a part of Oracle again. So we have all these best technologies available in Oracle. That is how Oracle is doing the best in the market. It has captured 50% or 60% of the whole world market. And we have other ERPs also. Like SAP is there and we have some, some other ERPs. And the small ERPs like even Tally is an ERP. MySQL is an ERP. But the purpose of ERP is same. Wherever you go, a functional consultant can work for any application. Only thing is you should know the functionality how to utilize for the how to utilize the system for the purpose of buying for the purpose of sales for the purpose of manufacturing for the purpose of payables receivables. This is same. So in this process of purchasing we have the purchase order now. We have the requisition has been converted to request for quotation. We gave the request for quotation to multiple suppliers. We got the quotations. All the quotations have been compared by analyzing the quotations and to decide the best quotation. When you decide the best quotation, you have decided the best supplier. When you know the best supplier, create a purchase order where supplier is required. After having the supplier details shipped to, built to, then we have the line items. What is item? You are buying item, right? Now let us see. I open the purchase order. Let me open one purchase order because before so starting the process, let me discuss what it's what is exactly purchasing. So I'm going to query the existing purchase order. Okay, the existing purchase order. How can you see that? F11 control F11. If you don't know the number, if you know the number, F11, give the purchase order number here, then control F11. When you are not giving any result, you are not giving a purchase order number, then system takes time because it is fetching the data. What the latest purchase order has been created in the system. Okay. 
but it is having the status of incomplete when you keep when you click on this press down arrow you can see a number of number of purchase order. this is another purchase order this is another purchase order this is another purchase order see some purchase orders are approved status some purchase orders are incomplete status right we have all these items right now let us see there is a supplier and there is a ship to ship to is our location and bill to where they want invoice because why we are why are we having different locations like ship to and bill to i want ship to and bill to as separate or sometimes it is same here it is same why you send the item to the same place and you send the invoice also to the same place why because the purchasing department are payable the person who is going to pay is also sitting at the same place the person who is going to use the item is also sitting at the same place so i am raising ship to and bill to as same but at what purpose ship to and ship to and bill to are different they are different in case their manufacturing plant is at one place and their payable depart payables department is at one place because payables we are they are going to pay the amount to supplier manufacturing they are going to manufacture the items by utilizing the raw materials that you are going to purchase through purchase order right then you will give all the information then you will come to the lines lines we'll discuss about we'll talk about items that you would require i want items goods and there is a description there is a description and every item comes under category what is category category is very important but every item is having its own category if you talk about bolt nuts and all those these are spare parts or consumables or grease whatever it may be if you are talking about sub assemblies like engine clutch and clutch assemblies clutch plates or whatever it may be those are sub assemblies or raw materials so when i talk about engine engine itself is a category clutch plates clutch itself is a category or a spare parts spare parts is a category consumable is a category expense items are category is it inventory is it, is it stockable item it's one particular inventory inventory all the inventory items are stockable items physical items they are tangible in nature you can touch and feel but some items you cannot touch even there is no item existing in physical do you know such kind of items but still whenever i say i buy the item then i have to pay there are certain items which are physically tangible there are certain items which are not physically tangible what are the tangible items what are intangible items i am buying the item means i have to receive the item then what is the item that i will buy but i can't see the item can you tell me a company buys the item from supplier but he cannot see the item what kind of item it is it's very simple you have the car wipro technologies let us say it is having cars let us say it is having 100 car, 100 cars every car has to be serviced after running for certain kilometers right that means every car has to be serviced wipro technologies is not doing service to cars it is doing its own business but whenever it would require service it will send the car to supplier who is that supplier service provider if it is tata motor tata distributors will be having a service center and we will send to there then they will do the service after doing the service they give the bill to you they are giving a bill to you means bill to wipro ship to wipro but what is the item there is no physical item why they are not selling the car already wipro is having car you are buying something what is that service that service can you show me the service in physical in nature nothing there is no item but still you are paying thousands of dollars you are paying that means you are buying something 
but that item is not visible to you that is called intangible item that is called expense item that is called service item sometimes you may have service that service comes under this type you know what what is type it's service see it is service or goods so this client is having only two somebody might be having something else not more than uh, not only two they may have 10 or 20 types of it can be expense item it can be outside processing item what is outside processing this type can be outside processing also OSP what is OSP outside processing what is outside processing it is very simple you have the car right you might be having a car okay whenever you are buying the car you are buying from Tata Motors let us say Tata Motor usage Oracle application and you want to buy a car means in the system Wipro technologies also will be having ERP it will write the requisition saying that I want a car and these many items and who is the supplier I want to decide with the Tata Motor is the supplier Wipro technology raise a purchase order with Tata Motors saying that these are the items they would require okay now you are asking to Tata Motor where the Oracle application has been used has been you know they are using the Oracle applications there is a purchase order from the customer who is the customer Tata Motor is the company using Oracle application customer is customer of Tata Motor is Vipro Technologies now there is a sales order from because Tata Motor is going to sell the car to the Vipro Technologies they should have a sales order means they should have a purchase order from the Wipro technologies first of all Wipro will send the purchase order and Tata Motor creates the sales order they are selling the Tata Motor cars but the customer Wipro technologies would require cars with Teflon coating okay let us say car with Teflon coating Teflon coating is the one which will not be maintained by Tata Motor but they want to deliver the item with Teflon coating but the Teflon coating cannot be possible from Tata Motor department there is a vendor again to there is a supplier again to Tata Motors who will do the Teflon coating so that item will be manufactured and will be sent to outside party means another supplier and they will get it done like Teflon coating will be done and they can, again they will receive the item back to the Tata Motors and from there they will intimate customer to collect the item by coming to the Tata Motor branch here you are getting the Teflon coating right you want to get Tata Motor will raise a purchase order against a Teflon coating with respect to its supplier then its supplier will do the Teflon coating and send back and sends back the item to the Tata Motor. Tata Motor again receives the item and that item will be ready for shipping to the customer with not Wipro technologies. Here what was the service you are getting? You are manufacturing car but Teflon coating is the service you are getting from outside. That's where you are getting outside processing. Still you are paying for Teflon coating. Right? If you want to pay something you should have a purchase order. Keep in mind purchase payable department you are selling receivables department you are selling to receive the cash from the customer you are buying the item to pay the amount to the supplier it's simple don't forget these thumb rules okay that is the reason don't bring customer in purchasing supplier in sales and don't talk about receivables in purchasing and don't talk about payables in sales when you are buying purchase order should be there when you are buying you have to pay means payables you are going to work with payables department after purchasing similarly if you are a salesman you are selling the item to the customer it is your duty to receive the cash so you will coordinate with the receivables department where they receive the cash or check from the customer coming to this is item I am how much quantity I would require and there is a price 
then need by date by which date you want promise date if supplier promise something okay you have to give then this is what line talks about you can have a number of items here line one talks about one item line two talks about another item that will have all the items here one by one similar kind of data then you go for shipments there is a shipment for every purchase order you can have multiple shipments why can you observe here there is a ship to second line will have another ship to third line will have another ship another ship to the purpose of this is when you have ship to locations are different that means organizations are different what is organization inventory organization what is inventory organization warehouse what is warehouse different branches Tata Motor is having the branches across the city or across the state at different locations but purchase department is the one which buys the items for all the branches when it buys the all the products for all the branches it is their duty to distribute the item to respective locations if I want MRF tires thousand tires are required does it mean that thousand tires are required at one place how many plants are there how many distribution centers are there for Tata Motor for one state you will be having different branches each branch is inventory organization each branch is a distribution center whatever they want you have to buy that is the reason purchasing is at operating unit level what is operating unit operating unit is the one which is having multiple inventory organization organizations so those inventory for all those inventory organization you are the responsible person to buy the item for all the inventory organizations that means you are going to enter one requisite one organization here second organization here third organization here and how many items do you require at this branch you have to enter how many items do you require at another branch you would you have to enter in the second line but all the lines quantities together this should be consolidated quantity you might be required of thousand MRF tires but when you go for shipment 100 tires at one branch I can say you are having let us say for if you are from Hyderabad so you are having GD metal industrial area and you have Gachibali industrial area Patanjali industrial area right and we have LB Nagar industrial area and each industrial area is having its own branch like Sata Motor is having their own branch you are buying 1000 tires, 100 tires to be distributed at Patanjaru, 5500 to be distributed at Gachiboli, and remaining 500 at Albinega. But for all these branches, you are buying. Who is buying? Operating unit person. That is the reason purchasing is at operating unit level. Operating unit will have different inventory organizations. And what are the inventory organizations? You have to enter line by line. But the quantity is each quantity. This line is not this line quantity is not equivalent to this quantity provided if you have only one line then all the quantity should be equivalent to this quantity right but when you have distributions that is the reason purchasing is called distribution module because you are buying the item to distribute across your inventory organizations that is the reason it is called as distribution module because you are going to have multiple shipments here the all the shipments quantity together which is equivalent to the line line quantity that you have to remember now in the shipments let us say I have organization ship to this is this organization is inventory organization <coughs> now coming to more tab in more tab you can see match approval levels as three-way two-way four-way then invoice invoice match option as PO receipt now it's very important whenever you are buying it is your duty am I buying the items from the supplier with three way two way four way what is two way it is very simple I am buying these many items once purchase order has been approved can I pay the amount to supplier 
You are least bothered about the items that you are going to receive. You are least bothered about inspection of the items supplied by the supplier. So, purchase order is approved, you are ready to pay. That means, purchase order quantity is how much? Invoice quantity is how much? You are concerned about purchase order quantity and pay to that much quantity to the supplier. Purchase order quantity is 10. So, pay to the supplier for 10 quantities. Because you are not concerned about how much you are receiving. You are not concerned about what kind of quality of items that have been supplied by the supplier. You are least bothered. Purchase order has been approved. Yes, we are ready to pay. He will supply. Whatever he supplies, we receive the item. That's it. You are least bothered. But three way, you raise the purchase order for 100 quantities. When you raise the purchase order for 100 quantities, you are expecting 100 items from the supplier. That means you are making another document which will which will be the proof for receiving the 100 items. If you receive 100 items, then pay 100 items only. If you receive 50, then pay 50 even though purchase order quantity is 100. That means what? There is a purchase order quantity, there is, a, there is a received quantity, against received quantity only I am going to pay. That means three quantities are there. That is called a three way. We have four way. There is a purchase order which is indicating 100 items, but I received only 25. You received 25, but out of 25, we accepted only 10. You accepted only 10, so pay to the 10 only. That means what is the condition? The requirement, the purchase order meant for 100 items, but I received only 25. Out of received 25, only 10 are acceptable, so I accepted only 10. So pay to supplier for the 10 items only. That means there is a purchase order quantity which is 100, received quantity which is 25, accepted quantity there is a 10. So invoice quantity should match with your accepted quantity that is 10. So four quantities are there so it is called four way. Now match option with PO or receipt. Whether you want to pay, you want to pay to supplier whether you received or not, it is immediate for you. Then match with PO. If PO is raised, then you can raise the invoice also. When it is receipt, you cannot raise the invoice without receipt. This is the condition. Receipt is required. Then you have to make invoice match option as receipt. Basically what happens? When it is two-way, means purchase order has been approved, you can pay. So in that condition, you may go for purchase order. Invoice match option. What is the purchase order quantity? What is the invoice quantity? When it is three way, you would require receipt. So I will match the invoice with the receipt only. In case even inspection, you are accepting, right? You are inspecting and you are accepting the items that have been supplied by the supplier. When you have the inspection, even then I would require receipt. Why? Because receipt is the one which is the proof between you and supplier saying that I have received the item. So I am ready to pay. Okay, so let it be here. That is the reason we call it as match approval as two way, three way, four way, and ma ma invoice match options are PO and receipt. It's very important question. What is three way, four way, two way, and invoice match options and receiving controls? When you go to receiving controls, there is receipt routing here. Direct delivery. When direct delivery, that means it is two way. When it is standard, it is three way. I will show you. Okay, no shipments. In the shipments, we have receiving controls. In the receiving controls, we have see direct delivery, inspection required, standard. Just now we discussed what is two way, three way, four way. Two way means direct, standard means three way, inspection required means four way. What is direct? 
there is a PO quantity, there is an invoice quantity over. So it is called direct. When it is direct, that is two way. There is a PO and there is a receipt which indicates received quantity and invoice quantity. Invoice quantity should match with the receipt quantity. That means there are three quantities PO, receipt, invoice. That is called standard. Inspection required. We have the PO, then receipt. Received 25 items, right? Does it mean that you are going to pay for 25? No. I inspected. Then I accepted only 10. So I am paying for 10. There is a PO quantity, receipt quantity, accepted quantity, then invoice quantity. Invoice quantity should match with accepted quantity. That is four way, which is called inspection required. That's it. Okay. That's what shipments. Shipments talk about different organizations and all the requirement will be mentioned in the line quantities. Then each shipment will be having a distribution. Sorry. Ship to okay. one six two one two. Okay, <laughs> okay. now. shipments we discussed every shipment should have receiving controls we discussed every shipment should have distribution that's what we are going to discuss now then we will conclude now in the distributions every shipment means every branch would require certain items right you are buying 1000 items and you are distributing 100 at one place, 500 at another place, 400 at another place. Right? That means distributions, payables department is going to pay how much? For 1000 items they are, they are going to pay to the supplier. But 100 items at one place, 500 items at one place, 400 items at another place. I have to track in finance because payables is the department which is a part of finance department. They are concerned about how much I am paying to which branch we have to charge. You are buying, that's fine. You are paying, that's fine. But to whom I have to charge that value? I am paying for all the branches. But the one which is taking 100 items, the shipment, what is that shipment? That shipment talks about one branch. 100 items do you would require at one branch. That branch is receiving 100 items and 100 items will be charged. To who has requested? That branch might be having some 10 departments, say an employee. Right? We have to charge to that employee saying that yes, due to the requirement of that employee from this branch, I am paying this much. I am not paying for 1000 items because that branch would require only 100 items. So that branch is concerned about only 100 branches, right? And 100, 100 items only. So we have to track in finance. What is the chart of account that is meant for that branch and that department, that employee, that company, that profit center, that distribution center. That is important. So I am charging. So that is the reason in the distribution, we will have a distribution account. This is called charge account. We call it as distribution account or charge account or destination account. It's very important. Keep in mind. Whether I say charge account, it is same. Distribution account, it is same. Charge account, it is same. So payables departments 
are concerned about this account. Why? Because one shipment, I am shipping 100 items at one place. I am paying for 100 items. That's fine. Are the 100 items meant for only production department? Let us take. It is very simple. I want to buy laptops, 100 laptops. 1000 laptops, let us say. 100 laptops are required at one branch. 100 laptops will be given to the same department? No, right? There is an IT department, there is a sales department, there is a purchase department, there is a production department, there is a maintenance department, there is a CRM department. Each department would require laptops. To which department you are giving how many laptops? So charge accordingly. For finance department, that means if you see this control L, this department might be out of 1000, 100 we are shipping at one, one organization. And even those 100 laptops will not be consumed by one department. So, whenever department changes, your combination is different, different numbers, right? Different chart of account, account has to be selected. So, for IT department, you are given 10 laptops. Then quantity should be 10. Then give, give the account. All might be same. All the remaining segments might be same. Company is same. Account is same. Product class is same. Product class is laptop only. Your enter company only. So everything is same, but this account changes. Why? Because department changes. Account might be same. Even it is a laptop finished good only, but department might be same and different. So 10 items you are giving to sales department. What is the department core for sales department you have to give? When this number is changed, then chart of account is changed. So how many chart of accounts you are going to change? So those many lines you have to enter. What does it mean? That means the line quantity of this and line quantity of this total together should be matched with should be matched with your first shipment quantity keep in mind that means you can have multiple distributions in one shipment you can have multiple shipments in one purchase order line that's what the important concept here we have to discuss the line is one but having a multiple shipments indicating different organizations but one shipment can have multiple distributions and which is indicating different chart of accounts. But all the distribution quantity should be equal to quantity of this shipment. And all the shipments quantity should be equal to the line quantity. Then you have to approve the document. Then the status changes to approve. That's it. Once you get the approval. This is how you are going to purchase that. Once it has been approved, then you have to send. Print. Go to print uh, view document and tools we have the view document is nothing but print report so you'll get a report open that's it print it this you have to print it this is the purchase order which talks about so what is the company what is the uh, this is the purchase order this is the item need by and so and so everything to be printed over this is what PDF that can be printed. You just print it and courier to your supplier and approve it, sign it and send to supplier. This is how the purchasing process happens in a company. Do you have any questions? No questions, ma'am.